Hi everybody. You probably know that a negative times a negative is a positive. But why is that? I'm going to show you a rigorous proof. Because after all, what we're doing here is real maths. Follow me closely and you'll understand exactly what's going on. Are you ready? Let's go. You know the old saying, opposites attract, or if you fall and fall again, it makes you stronger. Well, today's topic is a bit like that. So, to the maths. Let's start with a gentle warm-up. Think about the opposite of a number in terms of its sign. The opposite of negative 2 is 2. Why? Because if you add negative 2 and 2, you get 0, the neutral element. And in general, if you have any number a, then negative a is the opposite, because a plus negative a is 0. To put that another way, if we consider negative a, then there's also the number a, such that when we add the two together, the result is 0. What does that mean? From the point of view of negative a, a is its opposite, so that a is the negative of negative a. Or turning that equality around, the negative of negative a equals a. This is true for any number a. Good. Notice that if negative a passes to the other side, we have that. You might think that because we've just seen that the negative of a negative is positive, that we're finished. But no, we want to show that a negative times a negative is positive. There's a relationship between the two, but we still haven't proved it. To see that a negative times a negative is positive, we need to look at what happens when we multiply two negative numbers together. It's clear that we can express any negative number as the opposite of a positive number. Let's start with two negative numbers, negative a and negative b, a and b being positive. Is negative a times negative b positive? we'll find that it is in two steps. First, starting from negative a times negative b, change the sign of the second factor to give negative a times b. Next, add these two expressions. Now apply the distributive property. Take out the common factor, negative a, so that we have negative a times negative b plus b. But negative b plus b equals zero. Anything times zero is zero. So we've just demonstrated that negative a times negative b plus negative a times b equals zero. One of the elements is the opposite of the other. Or, if we rearrange this, negative a times negative b equals the negative of negative a times b. Now look at this negative a times b and add to it a times b. Pulling out the common factor b gives negative a plus a times b, which is 0 times b, which is 0. So negative a times b plus a times b equals 0. Taking the second term over to the other side gives negative a times b equals the negative of a times b. Substituting this in the earlier equality, we have negative of negative a times b. But we've already said that the negative of negative something 
is positive. And this is equal to A times B. So, negative A times negative B is A times B. And this has to be positive because both A and B are positive. So there we have it. We have shown that a negative times a negative is positive. To end with, let's have a bit of fun. Can you think of any other situations where if you combine less with less, you get more? I mentioned a couple of examples at uh, the beginning. If you can think of any others, leave a comment and we'll see what we can come up with. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Lots more on their way to help you gain a thorough understanding of maths. So please subscribe. Thanks very much and we'll see you again soon.